My name is Shakuv. Thank you for joining me at lesson one, creating and maintaining your energetic boundary. So before our lesson today, please take the time to smudge your space with sage. We want to remove any negative energies and create a peaceful space for this work. Second, close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in through your nose, down deep into your belly and exhale. We want to make sure that you're in your body and that you're present for yourself. Third, please visualize yourself in a sacred circle of light. With your eyes closed, with your intention, see the sacred circle of light around you. Feel the light. Now with your eyes closed, call your spirits to respect all the diversity of religious beliefs. Call the spirits that are important to you. For example, you may call God, you may call the divine, you may call the universe, you may call animal spirits, you may call the water spirits, you may call Mother Earth. What's important when you call your spirits is that you call spirits that have wisdom and can help you on your journey. Fifth, and very important, please give gratitude to the spirits that have shown up in your sacred circle to guide you today, as well as give gratitude to yourself for making time for yourself. Now there's two parts to this lesson. One is the grounding cord and two is the aura. So we're going to focus first on the grounding cord. So I'd like you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, visualize a grounding cord from your root chakra, your tailbone to the core of the earth. Now with your intention, you can be rope like, it can be a rod, just visualize the grounding cord. Now, with your intention, visualize any energies that are not yours leaving your body, going down the grounding cord, going to the core of the earth, and being transformed by Mother Earth. Take another deep breath and visualize any energies again that are not yours leaving your body. Take another deep breath. Now, visualize any energies such as sadness or anger or rage that you're ready to let go, leaving your body down to the core of the earth and being transformed. Now with your eyes closed, notice how your body feels. Scan your body from head to toe, front to back, and just notice how you're feeling. Now go ahead and open up your eyes. This is the grounding cord. You can do this several times a day to get into your body and to be present. Now, the second part is maintaining your aura. What's important about our energetic swamp is we wanna make sure what you're going through day to day are your energies and that you're taking responsibility for your energies and not the world's energies. So what is an aura? An aura is an energetic boundary and a support system for your body, your physical body. It contains information about your body in the form of energetic signatures, and there's millions of them. So if you actually scan your aura, there's information. Think of it like an early warning system for disease and illness. So our goal today is for you to have a daily practice of maintaining this energetic boundary and keeping foreign energies out of it. So go ahead and close your eyes. Now I want you to visualize your aura. Where is it around your body? Now you may see it immediately, but if you do not see it, and if you tend to be a caregiver or some, someone who tends to focus on other people's needs before themselves, your aura may be way out. So think of it like casting a fishing net way out. What you're gonna pull in is all the energies of all the people and all the land and all the dynamics around you and you're going to bring that into your body. We wanna stop that. We want you to just focus on you and we'll talk about how you can help others in another, another lesson, but it's really making a clear delineation between your energies and all the other energies. So I like you with your intention, if you cannot see your aura, just bring it closer to your body. Now please observe what color is it, or is it multiple colors? So look from head to toe, front to back. How thick is it? A few inches thick, a few feet thick? 
Are there any holes? So again, look head to toe, front to back. So take a moment. This is an observation. We just want to observe, take a few notes of what you're picking up of the way your aura is today. Now let's build a healthy aura for yourself. One, visualize your aura one foot away from your body, from head to toe, front to back. Now, those of you that maintain your aura, you may say this is a little close to your body. We actually want it close to your body for this lesson and for the homework. We want it at least around a foot away from your body and we want to make it six inches thick. So we're making a solid, healthy aura. Again, head to toe, front to back. Now choose a neon color, pink, yellow, green, whatever your preference is. And with your intention, make your aura that color. So see it glowing, see it strong, see it thick and observe it all around your body. Now, throughout the day, check to see if, you, if your aura is being maintained and observe how you feel, how you're able to navigate your day. Homework. Through my experience, I found that one simple thing, if you, if you do the homework, you get the results. And while this homework may sound simple, trust it and see what you observe and how your, how your life shifts. So for the lesson, I'd like you to do your grounding cord and, and do your aura check for a week at a minimum one time in the morning and one time at night and take notes. Suggestions uh, for the craziness for those of you that are go, 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 who may travel business trips or have a very stressful job out of the home or stressful job inside the home before your family comes together, for example, for dinner time. If you have the opportunity, please run upstairs or wherever your shower is. Take a one minute shower, real quick shower. Cleanse your aura. As they say, wash off your day. Take a few deep breaths, do your grounding cord, get into your body, and then begin your interaction and see how things go as a result. And during the day, if you feel stressed, things are getting crazy, you feel out of your body, Ground yourself, check your aura, visualize yourself in a sacred circle of light and feel that light. And you're going to see yourself shift out of that stress, stressful state. Thank you so much. Love and blessings.